G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. This video is about another one of the on track meals, which is their gourmet meals for the outdoors. And this is a chicken curry one. And this is what they call a uh, meal ready to eat, MRE. So all you do is heat it up. Uh, rich and creamy chicken curry full of spice and flavour made with peas and potatoes. Ready to eat, no dehydrated, uh, not dehydrated. Fresh food, Australian owned, three, uh, hot in three minutes. Uh, net serve, 250 grams for one serve. Now, I'm gonna just put it in the pan and heat it up. Now, whilst that's heating up, I'll read what's on the back and then I'll pop this in when the water's warm. The pot I'm using, just in case you're wondering, is the ultralight titanium one from Evernew. It's a solo set or solo pot set. And if you're here in Australia, you can get it from Tier Gear, who are based, I uh, can't remember where they're based now, but they're an Australian company. Very good company they are. Tasmania, that's where they are, Tier Gear. Okay, that's on the go. Read the back. Heating instructions. Place sealed pouch in boiled water for three to five minutes or empty pouch into a pan and heat through. Uh, best enjoyed with rice, pasta or mashed potato. Store in a cool, dry place. Refrigerate once opened up to three days. Uh, and then it just says to try our full delicious range and go to their website. And that is on track expeditions.com.au serving pack or serving per pack is one serving size 250 grams energy 1580 kilojoules uh, this is per serving protein 32.5 fat total 22.2 saturated 10.7 carbohydrate 10.7 sugars 4 sodium 493 Okay, nutritional information. Uh, panel derived from ZUBI sensational food labeling and may differ from FSANZ derived information. Ingredients diced chicken, water, onion, cream, skim milk, and thickener, emulsifier, stabilizers, peas, potatoes, canola oil, mild curry powder. Coriander, turmeric, rice, flour, salt, cumin, pepper, ground, black, uh, fenugreek, uh, ginger, cinnamon, vegetable oil, garlic, salt, cumin seeds, and cardamom. Contains milk sulfites, may contain peanuts. Made in a facility that also makes products on the same production lines containing gluten, uh, crustacea, egg, fish, milk, peanuts, sesame, soy, uh, tree nuts, lupin, and sulfites may therefore be present and it's halal and it's made in Australia from at least 81% Australian ingredients and the date on here it's best before is the 21st of June 2023 a couple of years nearly left in that before we have to use it but it's not going to last a couple of years that's tonight's dinner I'm um, back out on the Bibbulmun track, heading from Collie to Ballingup. And looking around, some others may turn up, but what time is it now? 20 to 4, and nobody else is here yet. Yeah, 20 to 4, no one is, else is here, so it'd be nice if I get it shouted to myself. 
but if somebody else turns up, that's fine too. Well, I'm going to drop this in the boiling water just here. I've got it over there so the noise of the gas uh, burner doesn't affect the camera too much. on water's almost hot so I'll speed the video up now until it's ready and then we'll get it out and I'll have a taste and let you know what it's really like Hot, very hot. <clears throat> I like this because you've got a clear bottom so you can see what's in there. That one didn't rip all the way. Smells good. A lot of sauce in it. Let's get my spoon. See that? Let's move it closer. Hopefully, you can see it. That's the sauce. Chomp the chicken. That piece tastes a bit dry. I don't know if it was overcooked before it was put in or it's just that piece on its own. You know, some of the potatoes from chicken. It tastes like the chicken's just a little bit overcooked. Even with all the sauce in there, it's still dry when you bite into it. Try another piece with some peas and Now that one wasn't so bad. When they say it's mild, it is mild. It's not a spicy in your face one. Flavour wise it's nice. It is nice. I like it. Mm. It is nice. Flavour. That piece of chicken was nice. Oh, must just been them two little pieces that were a bit dry. Mm, I think having that with some rice or pasta, I don't think about the mashed potato a bit, but 
the rice the, that go really really nice throw some more off on the bottom mm. the peas are really cooked nice the potato is cooked nice The chicken's all right now because I said the first couple of pieces tasted dry. But the bigger pieces, it's a big chunky one here. That's okay. Mm. Is it my favourite one of those? No, it's not. Will I have it again? Yes, I will. If you want it hotter and spicier, I mean you serve a bottle of hot sauce or Tabasco or something to add to it, but this is a mild, it is a mild curry. There's no bite to it, or spice I'd say. There might be, but I can't taste any of it, or I can't feel any of it. Meal, uh, meal wise, flavour wise, it is nice. But if you want it spicy, like I said, you're going to have to bring some extra spices to add into it. Mm. Yeah, I'll be having this one again. Like I said, it's not my favourite, but it is a nice one. If that had been the first I'd tasted, it would have been, oh, I like that. But because I've tasted them in the rivers, it's not the best one, or I don't think it's my favourite of theirs. But it is still nice. But that's the On Track Mills Chicken Curry, uh, rich and creamy chicken curry, full of spice and flavour, maybe with peas and potatoes. Yeah, the creaminess is there. But like I said, the spice isn't that full of spice. It's mild. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have, and it's the first time you've been to one of my visit uh, videos, and you've enjoyed it, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click the notification bell and select all so you can be notified of all future videos coming up. And th click that thumbs up and, uh, button, the like button, and share it with all your mates and family if you think they'll enjoy this type of video. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. Now, I'm going to carry on eating this.